turning in your POV. Shipping your vehicle is as easy as one, two, three. One, make sure you have all your documentation ready. To make the process of shipping your vehicle as easy as possible, it is best to have all the following documentation ready. A valid set of orders and amendments. You will be required to bring one copy of your official orders and amendments, government or state-issued ID, or military ID. Please present the front and back of your valid ID. Proof of ownership. If you own the vehicle, you will need to present the front and back of your vehicle title, or if your title is electronic, a copy of the title as presented electronically, or a bill of sale if the vehicle was purchased less than 90 days prior to your turn-in date. If your vehicle is leased or financed, then you will need to present the lease lien holder letter as your proof of ownership. Please contact your lease lien holder to obtain this document. Regardless of ownership, if your vehicle is leased or financed and you are planning on exporting your vehicle from the United States to a foreign country, you're required to provide a letter from the leasing company or the lien holder authorizing the exportation of your vehicle. All shipments also require a current vehicle registration. The vehicle must be in the entitlement holder's name in instances where the vehicle is titled or registered under the name of the entitlement holder and another party, a letter of authorization from the other named party authorizing the entitlement holder to ship the vehicle is required. If someone other than the service member will be shipping your vehicle, a power of attorney or letter of authorization will be required. These options do not apply to a spouse who is identified on a member's orders. You will also need to provide a valid email address, destination address, notification address, and emergency contact information before shipping your vehicle, so that the destination location can contact you. Note, for U.S. imports, no APO or PO box addresses are allowed. The address must be valid and able to accept mail addressed to you. It can be a friend or relative, but the address must include the street name, house number, city, and zip code. 2. Wash and clean out your vehicle before shipping. Before you turn your vehicle into us, make sure to wash the exterior and remove all personal items from compartments, doors, trunk, under and between the seats. This also means removing all accessories not permanently installed, including all loose audio, video, or navigation equipment, cargo carriers, any liquids or pressurized cans, any flammable, combustible, or hazardous substances, and citizen band radios. Once all items have been removed from inside, it is required that the interior and the trunk of the vehicle be dry vacuum cleaned. Your vehicle cannot be accepted at the VPC if the interior is wet or damp. Also, please remove all air fresheners and items hanging on your rearview mirror. The following items can be left in your vehicle. Hand tools, not exceeding $200 in total value, jacks, tire irons, fire extinguishers, jumper cables, one spare tire or two snow tires, an infant seat or child car seat. Before shipment, all vehicles will be subject to a joint inspection where all damages and blemishes will be documented. You will be requested to sign the vehicle inspection form as a mutual record. 3. Double check these musts. Fuel level must be at a quarter tank or less for the vehicle to be shipped. A complete set of keys must be provided when turning in your vehicle, including ignition keys, door keys, trunk keys, gas cap keys, and wheel lock. Valet keys will not be accepted. The vehicle must be in safe operating condition. You are responsible for ensuring your vehicle does not have an unresolved recall notice. You can verify if your vehicle has an open recall notice by visiting the website on the screen. You must provide documented proof that there are no open recalls to the VPC during turn-in before your vehicle will be accepted for shipment. You can print documented proof from the Safe Car webpage on the status of recalls associated with your vehicle. Please check that the brakes, including the parking brake, are fully functioning. Make sure the vehicle has no leaks. Check the windshield for any major cracks. Vehicles being transported to climates and freezing temperatures should be safeguarded with a non-alcoholic, permanent-type antifreeze, testing to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. In addition, please make sure the vehicle battery, fluids, mechanical and fuel systems are also protected to at least negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Only one vehicle may be shipped at government expense, and the vehicle being shipped must not exceed 20 measurement tons. A compact car measures approximately 9 measurement tons, and a full-size car measures about 15 measurement tons. If the vehicle does exceed the 20 measurement tons limit, the service member will be required to pay an extra cost applicable to transport the vehicle. Rest assured, you will be able to verify all calculations prior to shipment at the processing center. Restrictions for non-US destinations may apply. How to calculate vehicle dimensions at home. 
multiply your vehicle length by width by height in inches, divide by 1728. This will give you a value in cubic feet. Divide that value by 40, and the result will be your vehicle dimensions in measurement tons. Important: We will be unable to accept the vehicle if the service member fails to provide all the necessary documentation or if the vehicle is not in compliance with the requests as described. Your satisfaction is our number one goal. Thank you for your attention and a heartfelt thank you for your service to our country.